Okay, it's 2020, February the 1st, Saturday, it's uh, about uh, going on to 20 past 7 now and uh, I've messed up my first recording so we're going to do the intro again. We're doing a blind breakfast. Um, I can't remember exactly how this idea came about. I suppose it was when we did the blind rock climbing to test call to do the, the Craddock Peak climb eventually. Um, and then from there the conversation developed and um, we decided to do a blind breakfast. See if I could do, uh, I can do blind rock climbing or can I do a blind breakfast? Sounds scary, the rock climbing. So, um, <laughs> it's a lot easier than breakfast, I can tell you that. That will be an interesting thing. Now Mel, you're going to have to talk to me because yeah. um, you know, I'm used to it. I've, I've, I've done it all my life and you know, it's, it's taken for granted, second nature. Yes. Now you blindfolded, um, you're not, you, you don't know what's around you and you know what it looks like, but yes. uh, you experience it totally different now. Yes. So, but I'm not going to help you physically. I'm going to verbally help you. So yes. whatever you need, we'll talk you through it and see how you cope. And if you're really battling, you must talk to me. I, I might not even see you battling. Okay. <laughs> and I won't laugh at you. Maybe. Sure, yeah, sure we'll no see. problem. We'll, we'll, we'll have a couple of laughs and joke yeah. around. So. And then I'll prep my breakfast. We, we're keeping things simple. Um, just health breakfast, oats, adding a few things, cutting a few things. Um, I'll, for, I'll also just cut an apple up in mine. Um, and then Mel's going to deal with the hot water in the kettle. Yeah, the, um, the and bit. chopping up apple and fingers and whatever goes oh, in yes. his breakfast. About the knife. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've got a, this is my usual knife. It's a, a serrated edge. It's older than what I am and it's rather blunt, but it's sufficient to cut a, a, a fruit. Fruit, okay. So um, I'm running the blade across my hand again to to show the camera, but um, it doesn't, it's it's entirely safe. Yeah, you to might use. not end up having fingers in your breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I might not. But no, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to show you physically, but I'm going to talk you, I'm going to explain to you yes. a safish way to do it. Yes. And, and I'll actually demo with another knife and another apple. Yes. So, we, yeah, as you go, and I might work here as well next to you, but okay. I'll be focusing on you more anyway. Okay. Now I want to I want to get that side plate thing again. Okay. Uh, I've got the side plate on the counter, but initially I needed to borrow a, a side plate from Cole. And the side plates are down here. That's right. Covered. Right Cole took me around and he said the side plates are on the right. And here the, they are. And the big plates are on your left, you'll feel, and if you feel in the bottom shelf, the cereal bowls, flatter ones, and toy ones. Yes. So okay. All good. but if you stuck, you can ask. And then All I'll right. just direct you. <laughs> okay. So um, I need to get my oats. I'm not going to do anything. You, um, If you want to do the kettle thing, just tell me and I'll direct you. I almost cooked your USB. Oh. I carried the USB um, in the in the porridge bowl and I forgot about it. So. Oh, USB? Which one is that? That's, oh, that's, that's the, the one. one that you linked me yesterday. Oh yeah, it's the 16 gig. It's got Braille on it. Yeah. 16. I'm going to just put it here on my laptop. Okay. Now I'm going to start scooping out I've got a, a little scoop here okay. um, that I use to, to count out uh, one oats. Yes, my oats. That's actually clever. One, I, I actually two. cheat. Yeah. I do it a very primitive way. I just grab handfuls of oats, wash mm -hmm. my hands obviously, and then I just grab a handful of nuts and stuff and then I chop up an apple or whatever. Yeah. Oops. But that, Three. <laughs> almost spilled there, but spilled into the bowl. Oh, that, I heard it. That's fine. Yeah. You're doing well, by the way. And four. I coordinated with that. Can I trust you? Aren't you peeping around the blind? Uh, you, can, you can feel if you want to. <laughs> That's fine, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the blindfold is on. Uh, that was five, I think. Okay, so it's not big scoops. I'm no, it's, it's, yeah. it's like a heap teaspoon. Uh, a heap tablespoon, I think. Yeah. Six. Seven. How many do you do? Eight. Eight. Okay. And I'm, I'm feeling that it's level. That's usually how I measure okay, it. Okay, that's good. And for some obscure reason, I forgot my future life in the fridge at home. And so I'm just going to have oats and slice an apple. Fortunately, all I eat is, <coughs> is oats. Okay. But um, yeah, I've got apples, I've got oranges. If you need anything you need, just shout. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm very much aware of keeping the environment um, sorted and tidy because if 
I forget where I place anything, then that's going to be a mission to find it again. Okay. So I'm just putting the lid on the oats again, and there's a bowl. And feeding around. Here's a knife. Okay. Who's that? That's just the mine that I've okay. switched on because I'm taking from a different angle. Okay, very good. While you're working there, um, you, you found your knife. Yes, I found the knife. And then I would like to add some salt. I've got. Yep. I sent it off the oh, yeah that's always the thing I'm, I must add to the viewers um yeah. one thing i've learned and fortunately i've got a phobia for broken glass um yeah. so i've always got a rule if i'm working with a lot of stuff around on the counter and there's breakable stuff even i'm always aware of it and you've got to actually really uh, be uh, when you move your hands around and there's a possible glass or a bowl know that you could knock it off um Rather, that's where I'm very careful, mm -hmm. um, because if you do knock it off and it breaks, you've got more of a problem. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm ready for the, for the hot water. Okay. Um, do you want to, um, the water might be uh, warmish still from my cup of coffee. Yeah, I've head over that to your right. Now, now I feel more or less in, I'm guessing. I'm right next to the sink. I'm okay, go to the right of the sink, you'll feel there's a coffee plunger, and then to yes. the right of that is a warm kettle. Yes. But I've we might that. need to fill it a little bit. So I want you to see if you can locate, if you if, if you can figure out the kettle. It's got a little button okay, on the top that the pops top. the lid. It pops the lid. I've yeah. got that. And then try and line it up under the tap. Got it. And That's then, there. I don't know, yeah. Switch got, hands. And then, you, yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. So let me, what's that come from? How there? do I determine the depth of the water in the kettle? Um, I... Yeah, I go by weight. I'm so used to it. Okay. I would say add, um, you could possibly, because it's, it's, it's hot now, but if you add cold water, you could possibly, um, with your finger, even feel when it's about halfway. I'd say half full the kettle. Okay, I'm going to stick my fingers Or in. I would say add about, I, I, can, I can judge by how, how long the water runs. My, in. My f okay, um, let, let's you fill the, the kettle. I, I've stuck my fingers in. Yeah. It's hot inside, yes. but I can't feel the water. Yeah, so it's still not too full. So I'm going to put the kettle... I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, I'll pop the lid again and then I'm lining it up under this filter thing and then I just, I just fill it a little bit more. I can feel by right. weight. I'm not even touching it. Yes. I'll give it a little bit more because it's for two bowls of yes. oats and we can, if you want a cup of tea, no, no, um, do you want to put it back on the, the, the thing? Or? Sure. No. Okay. But I don't know if it will shock you if you touch it by mistake in the middle. Usually these things are quite safe. Uh, yeah, it's a don't. round base and it's got to go right over it yes, in the middle. Safe. And it just lands on it. There we go. And then the switches at the bottom of the handle. There, there we, go. we go. It's just sort of dropped Yeah, it's very it easy. Off. Yeah, it's going to start boiling or going now. Okay. And when you hear it's finished boiling, it will switch off. Then you can grab the kettle there. Okay. In the meanwhile, I'm going to start with the apple. Okay. Um, I'm going to get myself an apple. And I'm going to, while I do it, also describe. Um, I just need to get in front of you here. I'm just going sure. to squeeze. Oh, no, you actually aren't in the way. Get a side plate. Okay. Put the apple on that. I'm going to do the same. Right. And then I'm getting myself a knife. I'm going to walk around to the back of the counter okay. so that the camera can see me. Yes, yes. Feeling my way along here. Okay. This is a really, um, I wouldn't say strange, but it's a, it's a very different kind of experience. Yes. I'm going to do another clip quick on mine, just so you got to add to it. Okay. Now, usually, I slice my apple down the middle. Okay. So what a good thing is, is you hold the apple on one side, yes. but you've got to make sure all your fingers are not over this first half. So if you're going to slice it in the middle, Yes. Um, you can have your, your just to support the apple because it will roll either yes. way. That's right. Um, and then you, you you put the knife nicely in the center of the apple, and then you can slowly start cutting or chop down. I usually support the knife on top and the and the middle, and then you chop it in yes. two. And I find that when the knife is in already, it stabilizes the, a bit. I can move my fingers a little bit further across the gap. Across yes. The cut yes. To stabilize the apple. I go already. above the knife, but the two of my fingers support the apple at the bottom. Yeah. And now when it's in half, it's easier just because yeah. it's more secure. And then, so I, I cut it in half, then I cut it again, and yeah. then each of those quarters I cut into into eights, half. eights or whatever. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm quickly doing at the moment. 
I'm just basically doing it with you. Sure. Um, so I can talk you, so, so we can talk through it. But you're doing very well. Okay. Um, and then each of those eights, you can cut. cut into bite-sized pieces. Okay, yeah, a, that makes sense. I've got a method for doing that. Okay, so this is what you're doing, uh, what you've taught yourself visually. Yes. Now you're actually doing it for the first um, time. Um, actually, this is not the first time I've cut the apple blind. Oh, you've been practicing. <laughs> I've, I've practiced twice, I think. Okay, that's cool. And um, cutting the apple is 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 doable. Yes. Um, you seem to I'm, be doing well. Fingers I'm sound a out the way. I'm concerned about the water, the pouring the pouring um, water. I'm I'm going to try and give you tips. Sure. I do have a little device, but that's made for coffee cups. That yes, when you put no, over the edge, good. it starts beeping. I've, I've seen it, and it's not going to fit the porridge bowl. No. And, and the bar porridge bowl, if it gets to that level, you've got way too much water. Yes. I'm, um, I'm not always, if I really concentrate, I can cut symmetrical pieces, but I've just went and yeah, cut. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's not important they, as long as they bite size. Okay, I need to uh, wash Okay, when they scoot around, okay, well, um, to the basin straight across. Straight across. Little, yeah, that's right. And you've got the two taps, you've got the main mixer in the middle, and then, yeah, that sounds like a mixer. Because the other mixer. one's the filter. All right. Because I'm, 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 usually I'm not, I don't use my fingers like I do now. Yes. And, um, we tend to, the blindies tend to use their fingers quite a bit. Yes. Um, yeah, oh, so it's... Okay, that kettle is hot. Okay, I'm just going to restart another clip. because Sure. Just so I just want to get your angle in. I've got to lift the camera a little bit. All right. I'm going to restart the clip, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay. so you're going to now get the kettle. I've got the kettle. Okay. I'm carrying Are the you going to come this side of the counter or that? Um, I'll, let's go to the other side so okay. my camera can also see. Okay. Right, here we are. And I've got my porridge. You've got the bowl. Now hold. A good way to do it is you're going to pour, think of the bowl as two halves. You're going to pour further half and closer. Yeah, maybe yes. pour in the further half and not towards you, just sort of across the bowl. Okay. And then you put your finger just on top of the oats, gently, in the other half. So you're not going to pour water on your finger. You're going to pour water a little away from your finger. And you want the water to start coming over the oats. Okay. If you had Future Life or Pro Neutro, or if we allowed to use brand names, yeah. those that stuff absorbs water like cement, like quick build cement. Yes. So um, the oats, is, you just need to cover the oats. I think it absorbs a little bit. Yes. There it goes. It sounds good. Yeah, it's going. You listen for uh, the pour. Yes. And then you pour bit by bit until you feel. If you get used to it, you, you pour quicker, but don't rush. Yeah. Slow. Until you just feel the water. Look, it will be hot, but it won't burn there you as goes. if you... There yeah, it goes. Yeah. You can feel it. Okay, that, and then that you works well. And then you take a spoon when you think it's enough, and you just shovel the, uh, mix the spoon around in the oats, feel that it feels yeah. fairly loose and not too stiff. Usually those oats, after about two, three minutes, does stiffen up, then you can yes. add more water. But if you once you know your oats, you actually just pour the right amount of water, and when it's ready, it's ready. It's not too stiff or slop or whatever. Are you busy there? I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit more water the way it feels now. Let's um, it's probably yeah, really that, that's what happens usually is yeah. you can add a bit more water. When you're done there, you can keep the kettle there because I'm going to also do okay. mine. I'm just grabbing my oats. I do it the very primitive way. Um, I just put, I don't eat very much oats. It's, I think I might have added too much water now. Um, there's two options. You can either add more oats or because it's very hard to drain out. Yes. So you can either add more oats or you could try and drain it out um, no. by or um, you could just live with very Good running. Soup. Yeah. <laughs> add more apples. But remember you're going to add apple and. Yes, that's going to come in as well. Yeah. Um, do you want some um, nut seed dried berry mix? Because that's what I add to mine usually. Yeah, sure. Let's have a go. Okay. I I just, because my hands are clean, I just take sure, a handful out. Um, but I'm going to put the bowl in front of you. It's a, like a tall cereal thing. Yes, got it. And you can either just stick your hand in or if you want, you can try and spoon. But that's a waste of time spooning it out. Yeah. I'll just grab a handful and chuck it over the oats. Okay, got then it. Then I'm going to take my uh, apples. Stuck my fingers in the porridge again. Yeah. That's fine. 
whatever you, you eat it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I usually don't eat a whole apple in the oats because it fills my bowl in the, with yeah. the oats, but I'm going to mix, I've still got quite, I'm just going to mix it like that. Where's a spoon? This is actually working a lot better than I thought it would. Oh yes, yes. Have you done <coughs> with the nuts? Yes, I'm done with the nuts. Okay, Thanks. cool. Right. Shall we move the kettle back? Um, I'm going to... Or do you want to put it back? That's fine for the practice. Okay, yes. Okay, now you're welcome to do that. I'd, I'd do it, but uh, you want to... And I feel I, wash off. I want to wash my hands again. Okay. Well, while you buy the zinc... Yes. There it is. Because I'll, I'll add my water now now. I'll go and do it there actually. Um, okay. How's your, how's your heat sensitivity in your, in your hands? I mean, pretty cause, good. Because I've good. just... Um, or your, let's say your heat tolerance. Yeah. No, mine's pretty good because of that, I think. Because I've just found that I've accidentally touched the hot kettle again and it's... It, it's not, but what, it's not no. going to be a burn wound, no. but it's it's hot and it's uncomfortable. Maybe you touched it. You see, I'm so used to knowing when, where I can touch the kettle and yes. to be careful around it. Yes. Okay, so now I've got to get the apple into the... The apple I cut up, I realized, was very big. So the pieces in total oh, yeah. are sort of dominating the oats. Yeah. I'm eating a few pieces out. My, <laughs> that's my apple is also fairly big, mm. um, but I'm that's I eat my apple that way. Okay, so I'm just feeling this is your bowl. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it is. It's bigger and taller than mine. That's yes. why. So your apple's going to be accommodated quite yes. easily. Yes, it is. Um. Mm. I add a bit of cinnamon to mine. Oh yes. You want to yeah. try some? It's a little shaker. I'm just going to add. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll be nice. I'm going to put it here, uh, further away from your bowl, uh, right at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah, people always okay. used to tell me okay. your meat is at 12 o'clock, your potatoes is at 6 o'clock. Got it. So <laughs> now you open the little lid and then you just flip it upside down and give it a few shakes. It's a very fine powder. You'll smell it actually. Cinnamon, you can smell. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Do you, do you, you really? Um, I mean, I, I thought I was going to do it this way, and I'm going to do my usual thing. Now you, you're taking me out of my comfort zone. I hadn't practiced oh, cinnamon. <laughs> oh no, that's cool. You don't need practice. I'll, I'll talk you through it. Okay. I've, I've, I think I've shaken some cinnamon out into. Let's, okay. let's have a sniff. Yeah, that's also. Yes, I did. I did. Okay. There's some cinnamon. I don't know how much it is, but um, it's in there. Add some more apple. This must now soak in. I'm just taking my cereal with warm water out of the way, so I'm putting sure. the space there. Um, and if you mess it part of it, that's what we clean up. Yes. I'm just putting the cinnamon away, less to worry about. Sure. Three minutes, let this pull in nicely. So you cut in more apple or you cut in I'm a small. Still working on the apple, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you can mix it in there while you it gives your oats a chance to uh, absorb a little bit of water in it. Yes. It, it absorbs a bit this type of oats. Yes. Not as much as um, future life and pro-nutro, especially pro-nutro. Yeah. I remember with pro-nutro as kids, because that's what we used to eat. Yeah. Um, you add milk and you think, whoa, I've added too much milk. And then the next minute you try and eat it and it's like sick, like some men. <laughs> yeah. That's why my brother gave it the name quick milk. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it sounds like you're slicing pretty well there. Yeah, I've got that pretty pretty well down. That's cool. And put that in there. And you can just tilt the plates because your your bowl's quite big. You can just tilt when you're done, tilt it over on, over the edge of the big bowl and let it all just drop in. Yes. And then you can take a spoon and just mix it a bit, but not roughly, otherwise there'll be oats and apple flying all over the place. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, I think it'll be better though if I slice a piece of apple and then take those pieces by hand. You can, hard. you can do that as well. I'm, I'm, I've, I've over the years just become lazy, so I don't do it to the yeah. book. I just hoi and I... Yeah. 
take my hand and shunt it all into the bowl. And, all right. Yeah. I love making fruit salad as well, and I also make smoothies sometimes. So I cut fruit into those bite sizes, and then I put it through a, a smoothie maker that my mom gave me. Um, I love making salad, so I'm quite I quite enjoy chopping up things and destroying food. You know? <laughs> destroying fruit. And then um, I don't know if the camera will see, but under yeah, I've got a George Foreman cooker. I'm not going to lift it up because these things are. My camera probably won't. Get yeah, but uh, it's on my camera. I use oh. that a lot to grill um, grill my eggs on this side. And then I can do, I don't often eat sandwich, but I can do steaks and meat with a double grill. Um, and then in this corner I've got a convection oven, which works with the element fan. Put it on shortly. And that fan heats up the whole glass bowl and I can do fish, chicken, potatoes. And um, Excellent. yeah, I just want to see where I put my... Then I've got a steamer. I'm just giving a bit of background how I... Sure, absolutely, yeah, because I'm mixing porridge here. Toaster so I've had used for a while because I'm not, I've cut out bread out of my diet. And then I've got a steamer down there, which steams veg and stuff quite nicely. Um, so I don't use this oven and stove too much. It's uh, high electricity consumption. Yes. And then, yeah, there's a microwave with braille put over the buttons for power, grill, oh. uh, 10 minutes, uh, the one minute braille fell off, one second. <laughs> but you know where the buttons are. Yeah, is. I know exactly, because it's a flat panel, so, yeah, yeah. Um, and I basically use a microwave just for defrosting, I don't like cooking microwave. Okay. And then I've got a very nice dented fridge here, it was dented in the room, it's not from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I've got a banana peel that I need to put away. Okay, do you want to do that? Okay. Um, here's the fridge. Now, just to the left of the fridge is a cupboard. Okay, but yeah, open the yeah, the right hand of the two tall cupboards okay. there, and then in there, at yeah, you'll feel and the that's waste point. height. Yeah, there's the waste disposal. That's the waste disposal. It's hidden. Okay, there we go. Good. Found the, a lot of sighted people walking out. Where's your dustbin? It's hidden. It's hidden. I say find it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I usually tell them. <laughs> Then the banana, I've got a, a method for that as well. Okay, yeah, um, I slice them. You can slice them That's quite right. thin. You've got, to, you've got to feel where you put the knife down from the end of it. And then you try yes. and you, you, you chop it, but you keep your finger always next to the knife when it touches the banana. That's right. I use my left hand forefinger okay. to feel where the knife is on the further side of the banana. Yes, and yes. I use my right hand thumb with my right hand cutting the knife as well. Oh, that's, and that's okay. I cut until the blade hits my thumb and then I drop the piece into the into the bowl. Oh, okay. On the side of the blade or, um, or do you cut gently? Because the banana is quite soft, so you can cut gently without cutting yourself. Uh, well, my blade is blunt. Oh, yeah. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm careful, even if it is a banana, I always line up the knife next to my uh, right hand index finger because I'm left handed. Oh, okay. And then I feel with my other finger on the left hand that's also holding the knife, how far is it from the end of the banana. Oh, yes. And then I push down next to my finger and I'm, and I'm supporting the banana with my other fingers on the right hand. But there's all methods, different yes. people use different methods. Uh, generally, the rule is to keep your fingers out of the way of the sharp edge of the knife when yes. it's going down. Because yeah. if you catch your finger, yeah. So you've been cutting. Um, I've done. I've done cutting the banana. Okay. I'm yeah. Mixing it into. I the was forest. focusing on you while talking to you. All right. Very good. So you're mixing that in the bowl. I think it's fairly well mixed in. Okay. And the water. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Licking fingers. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's no, that's fine. The and then. And then the the more. The the most tricky of the fruit I've got is the is the orange. Yeah, that you're gonna have to cut like have a saw action. Yes. To open the skin and split it in half, I and then you think it'll be it. better if I work over the sink. You can. You're welcome to. There is a small plate. I'm gonna make the right hand side um, basin open. Okay. Then you good. can either, and I'll move the mixer over to the left. Right hand side, there we go. Actually, let me get you from the other side because your camera is from that side. All right. And then. There you go. You cut and just keep your fingers out of the way. Yes. But you seem to be fine with orientating your yourself in the knife. Yes, yes. 
Because um, I think a lot of blindies that lose their sight, and even us that are born with it, and we start cutting things the first time we nick our fingers at sunrise. So. Yes, I can imagine that. I'm just trying to remember how I would have done it sighted. Sighted. That's actually a good way. You've got that mus muscle memory. Or yeah, the they muscle. Call? Oh, yes. The muscle That's memory they, helps, helps yeah, a lot. Yeah. And then... Okay, I've cut it into quarters, okay. and then I take each quarter and, and peel you, its skin off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes if it's difficult to peel, you get some of those oranges. I actually slice between the skin and the fruit itself, but you've got to be careful. You hold it in one hand and you guide the knife with the curve of the fruit, mm -hmm. but you make sure you don't get your fingers in the way. Like I, that I can, I'm so used to. I, I can imagine that would be so tricky. It, I, is I it. it is initially, but you get used to it. Yeah. I've learned that with my hobby of model trains, where I had to curve stuff out of uh, polystyrene and, oh, and, yes. and curve stuff out of various foams to get the landscaping. Yes. yes. So that helped me a lot. Okay. I've, I've just realized that. Um, okay, so I've removed the peel from the one piece of orange. Then I took the next piece of orange, removed that peel. Then I took the next piece of orange, and then I forgot, okay, where's the fourth piece now? So I have to feel around which which one hasn't got yeah, peel on it. That's part of being blind. You've got to yeah. investigate with your hands and actually figure out. And sometimes one of the pieces that runs away for some other reason, and it's yes. like in the most obscure spot. Okay, I'm going to put the... the peels um, in the dustbin. The peels in the dustbin again, feeding my way around. you actually got your memory of where everything is in the kitchen quite well, which direction. Yeah, well, I've been here... Uh, yeah, a you've got a good already. mental layout visually, but, but I know like my one friend, uh, blind friend, he he would uh, get confused sometimes and then head totally in the wrong direction. Oh, okay. And then if you re refresh his memory, okay, it's actually that way, then he gets the whole layout in his head again. Oh, yes, okay. I'm pretty good when I walk into somebody's house, I'm a bit disorientated, but once I've learned the house once, then yes, I yes. go back there, I remember. Okay. It always creates a mental map of where what is. There's, there's something ticking on my left hand oh, side. Oh, that is the convection oven's timer because I put it on briefly to show the camera. Oh, okay. It's got one of those old time timers that go tick, 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 tick and then at the yes. end it'll go ding. Oh, right. Okay, um, it's, it's actually running, but I've lifted the handle so the element doesn't switch on. And, and it's amazing. I, I'm so much more, well, I'm not aware of being more aware of my hearing. But when I heard that, I realized I haven't heard that sound this morning yet. Yes. What is it? And you're actually quite aware of sounds because a lot yeah. of people wouldn't pick that up. Yeah. I would because I've, I've only got my hearing to reference. Now, I'm That's hearing right. the fridge in the background and I just thought of it now. Maybe you'll pick that up. Uh, now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> yeah, too, you got that. Otherwise, I was blissfully unaware. Yeah. Let's reset this. I don't I'll shorten my straps. Okay, right. sure. Oh, why is it in there? Oh. Uh, have you been running? I don't know. I don't know. No, now it's running. Oh dear. And I can't look. So no, I it's can't fine. Tell you. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's running well, now. You can you can stop it quickly and start it again if you want to okay, try. Yeah. That's that's a stop. No, right? that's stop. I'm oh, sure it's stopped. Yeah, that's a stop. Yeah. Do you know where we where, where are stopped? Is after the banana? Where was it? Yeah. Or just I before the remember. banana? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move back to my side. Uh, okay, I'm just going to start this again. So you've peeled the oranges now, uh -huh. and you're going to put them in the. I'm trying to feel where is the bowl? Is the bowl? Okay, yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, so it sounds like you're very careful, which is. Yes, because I don't want to bump anything off the. Oh, I don't want to put the orange in the porridge. It's on the, it stays in the side plate. That's oh, do you I eat usually... it separately? Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I was wondering about that. Um, Otherwise, you end up with an oat-filled fruit salad. Okay, I think I'm pretty much ready for breakfast now. I just okay. need to... I feel... Here's, a, here's your knife. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I left my knife there. That's actually good that you located it. Yeah. So, I'll knife. actually take that away for you and I'm putting it in there. a piece of apple that I discovered on the counter. Oh, one of the runaways. Yeah, because oh. often you have runaways. It's like the fruit knows you're blind and it's like playing, catch me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just feeling where everything is. Now, when you want to eat, you must just tell me where and how and what you want to do and yeah, what you need. More or less everything sorted out. I'm going do to... Rinse my knife. Do you need a tray at all? Because I no, know my one blind friend insists on a tray. Um, no. I just eat on my lap. I sit anywhere yes. in the lounge. That should be fine. Yeah. Um, I think 
Um, I'm going to stand in the kitchen and have a couple of bites. Okay. To show the camera. Camera, just, yeah. And, and then, like. yeah, you can stand and with your we'll, camera. I'll stop mine and then if you want to sit down and eat a bit, I will camera on you. I'm not going to camera myself eating. <laughs> yeah, yes. As long as, oh. As, as long, long as, as we get the, the start of the meal, then. Yes. And that you okay with it and that, yeah. yeah and that you survived. Because watching me eating is not the most exciting thing. No, no. Ever. Next, some other time we'll actually fry up some eggs or even bacon and eggs. Or I don't know what you eat and what you don't. So, mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. Or whatever. We can try something. We can make a, um, something in the convection oven and some veg or whatever. Okay, this, this bowl is made of metal and it's um, conducted the heat from the boiling water oh. all the way through. So, it's rather warm. But I've, I've got a way to hold it. I've got a plastic plate that you can put under it. No, Sometimes fine, do that. Fine. I'm going to switch mine off here. Um, and then you can eat there. Mm. But in the, I'm going to have some breakfast too. I taste good. the cinnamon. Mm. If it's too much, then you know you've added too much. <laughs> and the water is fine. Mm. Didn't turn out to be too much. That's good. Um, apple. I've got apple there. Mm. I wish my apple piece is a little bit big because it is a big and apple. And there's banana. Mm. Cool. You'll taste a bit of the nuts and dried berries if you did add. I think yet. Yes, I And I that did. actually, the berries give it a nice flavor. Mm. I usually don't cut some no. apple in mine. I have an apple sort of mm. 10 o'clock. Mm. I just mix uh, dried berries, nuts and seeds in mine. Mm. Bit of cinnamon, sometimes honey. Okay, this seems to work. Mm. I'm going to stop my recording now. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> I've just had breakfast. First proper blind breakfast. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And, uh, uh, as long as you taste it okay, then you, yes. then you did well. It was fine. Well, I forgot my oranges. Um, only after I, I turned on the camera again and I looked down and I saw, oh, my, my oranges are still on the counter. So I had to get You meant to not be able to see that you forgot your oranges. You meant to know you've forgotten your oranges by realizing I haven't had something that I... Yes, and I've, <laughs> I've just mentioned to Carl as well that uh, the, I think the biggest difficulty that I've, I've, I've experienced is trying to remember what I put where. Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep track of where everything is. And that is still a challenge for me with me being born blind because sometimes I'll put something down and I have a rule, everything has a place in itself, but in a rush, you put something down mm. in a space you think it's quite memorable or quite uh, obvious. And then later, oh, where did I put that? Then I've got to feel around, then I feel around, feel around. Yeah. And then I think, oh, maybe it's here, maybe it's here. And then later I find it's in the space. And I thought, stupid me. Yeah, yeah. That's where I should have put it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do the dishes okay, as, that's as, nice. as well as I can do. Um, <laughs> okay, you're gonna rinse them out, wash them. What do you want? Uh, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna. Rinse. What do you need? Um, water. Made water that my, usually comes out of a tap. Probably. Um, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Uh, a dishcloth to dry them off. Okay. If I can direct you to the left of the zinks, there's a okay. dish rack on right on the left. Right. Got and it. if you put your hand up and forward and slightly to the left, you're gonna feel the blinds and the end of the blinds. At about there it is. Ten, yeah, there's a cloth hanging on a hook. There okay, go. got it. Okay, that's keep track of where it is. And I want to see how you hang it on the hook after, or not see. Yeah, no, I'm not going to see. Yes, that anyway, sure. Because yeah. <laughs> yes. that's quite interesting to locate a hook and actually by feel put it on if you're not used to it. Yes. Okay, so I've got got my spoon out of the way there. Um, Carl says that he usually does the um, he does the dishes first. And then he cleans the, the countertop, for instance. The reason why I do that is I try and get rid of all the clutter on the counter, get rid of dishes, possible glasses that can fall and break, and put them away. I, I, I usually end yeah. up, I don't leave them in the uh, dish rack even. When they're washed, I actually pack them away. That's just a rule in my house. Uh, yes. Well, it doesn't apply to you now. Hey, me and brother, now all the way, man. But um, once that's out of the way, then the wiping up, and if it's very messy, cleaning up and if I by mistake messed on the floor I even sometimes wipe the floor or uh, yes. sweep or whatever yes. um, and then yes I generally clean my own place I vacuum and all that and it's all you know you get used to it it's done by feel and sound and everything oh yes 
So you manage in there? I've, I've got my bowl rinsed. Can you feel that it's quite clean? Yes, I can feel it. Okay, uncut. that's the way to do it. You don't and have then, to lick it or anything. <laughs> that's right. And then uh, uh, the soap that I borrowed from you, just rinse off the orange juice. That you can just put in there. You can, if you want to do the whole hog and you want to do a dish for me, you're welcome to. You can dry it and put it away, or you can just leave it in the rack. I don't yeah, know I'll dry it. I'll okay. dry it slightly. And I'm sure you remember where you got it from. <laughs> yes, um, that I can remember. I'm trying to figure out how this cloth is, if it is folded. It feels like it's folded. No, it's just thick. It's a thick, it's thick one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, shake it on the one end and you'll feel if it is folded, it should yeah. unfold. You can actually feel if it was folded, the two loose ends in the folded end. Okay, sounds like you're doing well. Yeah. Um, I, I dry it using um, holding the cloth in both hands okay. and then sort of twisting the, the, um, the side plate around like a steering wheel. Okay, that's interesting. And then wiping the front and the back or the okay. back and the front. And then I drop the cloth from one hand and I feel with my other hand whether it's clean and dry. Oh, and that's, it yeah. It's amazing how everybody does it differently. And you got the right cupboard. I've got the cupboard. And there they are. Yeah, Perfect. I can do this. In fact, it's a dish away. I can. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a major accomplishment. No, that is awesome. Okay, um, where where's your um, dishes? Your I put all mine in the left hand zinc. All right. Waiting? No, not necessarily waiting for you. Yes, but I mean your your yeah. porridge bowl at least. Yes, that's a deepish. Uh, yeah. Um, what do you call that stuff? Ceramic bowl? Ceramic, yeah. Okay. That's, that's a bit... Okay, that should be fine. It might be the odd oat or whatever still in there, so... Yeah, that's it's fine. Okay, that's just my computer talking in the background, copying media. Sure. Oh, you seem to be doing well. Yeah. This is just like I do it at home. It's more of a challenge when you deal with greasy dishes than oh, you... Yeah. I've I uh, fill the right hand zinc about half and then I obviously with the plug in yes. and then I add a bit of sunlight liquid and then I get that sponge, that scrubby sponge and okay. I scrub out the dishes properly till I feel it's clean clean yeah. and then I rinse it out in the left hand zinc and so on. Yeah. Um, the harder, also what's quite challenging is sometimes coffee cups get a bit apparently brown or whatever. Yes, yes. So you've got to really scrub them out now and again. Mm, yes, um, uh, I've yeah. noticed that. The worst is if you've had a braai and there's been some really greasy, greasy oh, stuff. Oh man, I can And imagine. those pots to scrub them out sometimes because yeah. you've got to feel in between grooves and that to make sure it's clean. Yeah. And the worst for me is cleaning my Weber braai because they're to clean the grids on that outside. Yes. But it's part of the challenge. There's worse things in the house that I have to do like uh, changing duvet covers. Oh. <laughs> Not my favourite. <laughs> oh, uh, that for me is is also uh, yeah. even being sighted. That can be oh, yes. Quite that can be tricky. Yeah. I mean, Washing I'm fine with. I know I don't do hot washes, yes. but I still try and keep lighter and darker clothes separate. Oh, so yes. I know my clothes by touch. I know for example oh. um, well, even if I'm not sure if it's light or dark, I've got two options. I, I can still see light and, uh, well, not light and dark, bright light. So sometimes yes. if I hold it in the sun and I get a different reflection off the t-shirt or the garment, yes. I know it's light. But if I'm really stuck, I've got an app on the iPhone that you can actually take a photo, send the photo, and somebody on the other side of the app, a volunteer, will either text you text you back and tell you what it is and like if I've got a t-shirt and I forgot ooh, what's the logo again I can ask them. Oh okay. I'm just gonna move over and get my camera. Okay. I find my laptop. I think I put that bowl in the right place. That's fine. But actually just as an interesting question that you feel the other bowls that are very similar. Yes. Ah, okay, that's the way, because sometimes you, you forget, or maybe somebody moved your bowls around, which doesn't happen often, Then you've got to feel that you put it by the matching bowls. Yes. Okay, there's, a, there's a coffee cup, there's a knife. Okay, so you actually 
There's okay. another side plate. There's a teaspoon. There's a big spoon. <laughs> I, I can I can do this for you. I okay. can, I can, none of it's greasy, good right? Okay, that's cool. That's a good experience. And yeah. I'll tell you. So you're going to rinse all those out? Yes. I've got um, my camera. It's it's not that. I mean, um, there, there isn't any greasy. I don't feel any greasy um, utensils. Okay. So it's just a matter of rinsing. Yes, that's all. Yeah, no, we didn't deal with grease. This this knife is a lot sharper than mine, though. Yeah, so yeah. I've got to be careful with that. Yeah, no, see. I'm luckily used to knives, so I work with very sharp knives. With my hobby of making model train layouts, I've yes. used Stanley knives, so yes. those you've got to be careful. Okay, where does the knife go? Okay, now just below the dish drying rack. Yes. There's a set of drawers. You'll feel the difference between a drawer. It's got a horizontal yes. handle and the cupboards. So the top drawer, now this is going to be interesting for you. The top yes. drawer has got various compartments with utensils I in. Feel, feel for the knives and try and put it got with it. the knife. Yeah, there you go. All right, excellent. It's on the right hand side. That's correct. Fantastic. Woo! You got it. <laughs> Sense of accomplishment, man. Yeah. What you got next there? Uh, I've got your... Um, a tablespoon. Okay. It's going to be a similar concept. Okay. <laughs> Once I you've... think I'm going to put that to the to the one side. Okay. And and do the cup. Okay. Yeah. You can do it like in a batch, or yeah. otherwise you're just going to. I usually clean them, wash them, put them in the rack, and then after the, I've done everything, I start packing away or dry oh, and packing away. Yeah. I dry actually one item, pack it away. Dry the next item, pack it away. Yes. One swash. Mm -hmm. But everybody's got their own method. We used to do teamwork in the hostel. Now that was, oh, yeah. yeah. You either were assigned to washing, rinsing, drying, or packing away. Now the total blindies also used to pack away. Walking around the kitchen, half bumping into each other. It gets quite exciting. Okay, I can imagine. <laughs> um, you've got a, a metal... Oh, that's uh, that's my regular everyday water drinking cup and notice it's not glass because yes. sometimes that ends up all over the house. Um, it's a stainless steel one. Yes, so it's I should handy. leave that in the drying rack. That's fine. I can leave it okay. there. Yeah. Right. And then here's your teaspoon. Yeah, you can figure out where that goes. It will be a similar concept to the knife. Oh, okay. Let's put this in the drying rack as well. Okay. Yeah, you can just line them up next to each other, then yeah. you know where they are. Here's your side plate. Oh, I think there were two side plates involved, that's right. Mine and yours. Yeah. And luckily the one, uh, we only cut fruit on there, so it's not very yeah. greasy. Should have actually sneaked something very greasy in there for you. <laughs> Man, I would have got you back sometime. <laughs> I'm still gonna make you fry eggs, maybe. <laughs> no, how to, how no. to crack the shell with a knife, gently split it in half, pour it that it doesn't. Okay. I, I want to do that. <laughs> I've I got an easy uh, and I've got an easy way to fry eggs. I've got a, two little utensils that keep the egg in shape while it's frying. Excellent. It's a lazy okay. way, but it okay. works. You're drying the plate, it right. sounds like it. Yes, I am. And you know exactly where it goes by now. Yes, just behind, right hand, top. Yeah, it sounds like you got them. There we go. This, um, the cleaning yeah. is, is more fun than the actual preparing. Oh, okay, okay. I, I find I enjoy this more. Oh, that's it's, interesting. It's more of a challenge. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, because you're moving around with things and you've got to find things. And, and I'm, I'm dealing with, locate with more. Thing. Yes. Yeah. I'm dealing with more different yeah. um, utensils and yeah, objects. Yeah. And you've got to be careful because there will always be a sharp object in your dishes. Uh -huh. And my phobia of glass. So when I'm dealing with wine glasses uh, if i don't drink uh, wine myself yes. often but if friends come and i've got some very thin wine glasses i don't know who designed wine glasses but they <laughs> thin. for blind people i'm actually scared to actually dry them with i'm, I'm so careful with them yes which is probably unnecessary but it's you know how that yeah, can cut you so i've heard of people cutting themselves so badly by having a gr uh, old glass yeah. break while they were drying it yeah mm -hmm. no i'd rather try to steer clear of that yeah 
Okay, so you've got some. Um, I know spoons. where your spoons go, more or less. Okay, yeah, because you would feel the teaspoons are in a different. You'll feel some to the. Forks. Yeah. Some more forks. Okay. Here we have teaspoons. That sounds like them on the very left. Very left. That's right. And then your tablespoons are horizontally oriented. That's correct. Closest to the. Yeah, you got that. Apple. Perfect. Yeah, I actually picked up the location quite quick. Where does your mug go? Okay, that's going to be quite a challenge for you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go back to the counter where you cut the apple, and yeah. then you go to the right, and it's going to be your head height. Okay. Uh, in the corner there, then you reach up towards your right. Which corner, left, right? Um, basically, if you face in the lounge, it's going to be on your right. Or if you face in the oven, it's going to be on your left. Okay. Wait, let me come I'm, from I'm this right angle. The okay, go to the left of the oven. So if you face in that extractor or whatever that thing is, you go to the left at head uh, okay. height. Yeah. Left. And then there should be a cupboard there. I've got covered. I'm on the left hand edge of the cupboard going uh, towards your horse display. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Just be careful that you're aware of the horses. They yes. might jump off there if you knock them. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, then that that cupboard that you that you would turn the edge of go go to the right because the handle's on the right and it opens uh, away there from it is. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Then you open it, but now feel carefully because uh -huh. the bottom shelf is not where you want to put the cups. There's glasses. That's right. Okay. Right. And Running my hand along the edge, that's the side of the cupboard running up. I feel the next shelf up. That's a good way to locate the and next I've shelf. And I've got cups. Yeah, now see if you can feel. It's I usually pack them sort of quite evenly oh, apart. Okay. I'm not too worried about how you pack it. It's just I wanted to feel what you can feel in there. Yes. Do you? Um, okay, I've got. There's there's one with braille on it. It feels like. Yes, yes. There's two braille ones. Two the one says I'm glad I can't see some things, <laughs> and the other one's a bit naughty. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like you've got a similar mug. No, that is a unique it. one, but don't worry about that. It slots in between two. It slots in. There's, there's a yeah, there's there. quite a big gap. So it's okay. like parking cars. Got that. Okay, that you did very well. There we go. Excellent. Right. Then, just sounds like the stainless steel one there. The stainless steel. There's nothing. Else I think in that's here. it. Yeah, because you did the cereal. Your ball. sink is. Clear. That Look. is cool. Drop the cloth. That's fine. Oh, now you want to challenge me and put it back on the... On the on yeah, the... yeah, I do want to do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. okay, so you remember more or less where we got it from? Yeah, you're right, next to the blind. And then There's the hook. I've yeah, I it. actually found Excellent. it because that's quite small. And then you Excellent. just take the center of the cloth long side and maybe hook it over That's there. exactly what I've done. Yeah, that's how I usually <laughs> Excellent. That's cool. Great mode. Okay. So I'm gonna okay. I'm just I'm gonna make a different clip, but I'm gonna listen carefully that it stops. What are you gonna do next before I take? Um, um, I think I'm going to put my stuff out of the way. I was just gonna say you're gonna have to make sure that counter all your stuff is out the way and clear before you wipe up. Yes. And then I'll give you some tips on wiping up. Let me just start this again. There's my salt. Okay. So. Now now you're going to pack away the stuff that's on the counter that's not dishes. Yeah. And if you do find another dish, it's not the end of the world. You know, you just put it in the zinc. <laughs> knife. Is that your knife? Scoops. Oh, you want to wash those? Sorry. Yeah, you can. No, no, they're clean. Oh, okay, good. Oh, that's my, cool. No, that's perfect. My oats. Oh, your actual oats. Okay. Yes. Um, you don't want my oats. <laughs> your oats is better. <laughs> oats Probably the same thing. Yeah. I think it's that I box. I think I've got everything here. Now, when you're feeling for something on a counter and you're not sure there's something, my advice is always feel very carefully. Don't very just slow. don't just do a karate chop across there because yes. you'll always when you think there's nothing, there will be something. Yes. Somebody uh, else, like uh, some friends I have, yeah. call them friends, will put a glass right on the corner of a counter. Oh, man. And you don't expect that. And then you get other proper friends that actually automatically put it in the zinc. Now, I always, I, I, I'm funny, I would, if I offer somebody coffee or a cool drink, they can either leave the glass where I put it down next to the couch on the coaster or put it in the zinc for me. They mustn't put, do anything in between. Yes. Because, because in between is on a counter somewhere or... I even had somebody put a glass on top of my speaker and I was not very impressed because you don't want that and electronics mixed. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. 
Um, I find now that I can't remember where I put my bowl and my spoon. I think Interesting. This is the, the joy of a blind man's life. I it. You got it. Got you it. actually remembered. Yeah, I, I had a sort of a sneaky suspicion. Did I put it next to the sink? I also have those sneaky suspicions, and that's actually a good thing because most of the time you're right, but if you get it wrong, then the search starts. <laughs> it's a hard search like, start. like my 200 Rand note yesterday. Uh -huh. And 200 Rand is quite a bit to realize, ah, oh, it's not in my pocket. Did it fall out? Yeah, where is it? Who took it? In the end, I went straight to my wallet, yeah. where it, logically it should have been put. <laughs> yeah, that goes in there. This goes in here. Okay, now uh, just make sure there's nothing. Yeah, just make sure there's nothing loose and unusual. What should be there is on right on the end of the counter should be that George Foreman cooker. Got that. And there's a tile thing against where the oven starts, the stove top starts as like a cutting plate, which we could have also used for cutting apple, but I actually also get lazy and just use plates. Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's it. Like, yeah, okay. that's Got it. Yeah, that. that's the end of the counter there. Yeah. So just feel around and especially towards this end, make sure there's nothing. If you know there's nothing, you can quite confidently wipe. And yeah. also, I know it's a bit odd, but while you're feeling, you can then also detect if you've messed some food or. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and you exactly. might have to do it by hand because you're not going to see it. Yes. Um, there's some water around the edge will run around your around your sink okay which i'd like to dry that's perfect and i just use the, the drying cloth you could either use that or i usually wipe the place even if there is excess water i i, I squeeze out the cloth that's oh, folded okay. over the Probably. center of the choosing i rinse it in it under the tap okay and then i squeeze it out just so it's nice and damp and then it picks up excess dust or anything and it just yes. gives it a nice wipe that's what i usually use and like if I've made coffee here and I might have missed a, a little bit of coffee or something that usually wipes that up. Okay. And then every now and again I give it a good scrub with a cloth with some detergent or whatever or cleaning stuff. Okay, now, now my fingers are wet and I don't know what is dry and what's wet on your Oh, that's okay. interesting. So I'm just going to yeah, wipe they're, they're, everything. Yeah. I usually just wipe everything, but now there you just got to be aware where the kettle is and yes. the um, coffee thing. I'm, I'm feeling the plunger in the kettle. I'm just going to reset this because I'm actually behind you now. Okay. And then we'll move it up. Move out of the way here. Feels like there's a, a roughness on the surface. Amazing how my sense of touch now Yes, comes it's amazing how much feedback you get. Through your fingers. Okay, now it's it's just the general feel of the countertop. Actually. Yes, yeah, oh, it has okay, some rough bits. Okay, there it we sounds go. like you're doing well. Okay, that's just basically okay. redistributing the okay the moisture on the countertop. How do you propose that I that I clean? Because there's definitely some. Uh, bits of fruit that's still lying on the counter okay. over here. How do you okay. propose I take that? quite a damp cloth, but I don't go mad with it that I just wipe everything off. I basically try, if there's big pieces, you can actually pick them up and throw them in the dustbin by hand. If there's just small pieces, that cloth should absorb them. There's a relatively big piece. If it's something you can grab and put in your other hand, do that. There's another way of doing it if you really want. You can take a brush and brush it towards something like a scoop. Okay. But that I usually do on the floor if there's a problem on the floor. Or I sweep around the corner and up into yeah, a scoop. Here's your fridge. Here's the ah, you waste. Get... Oops, drop the cloth. Next to my right foot. Oh, okay. okay. So it's okay. good you realized where you dropped mm, it. Yeah, I can feel it. Um, I think this countertop is about ready to be cleaned now. Okay. You don't feel any of foreign objects and funny no. things. And, and I'm, I'm feeling with my left hand in front of the cloth just to be sure that I don't, because there's something over here that could drop off right at the right hand edge. Of the, okay, yeah. This is, this is the cooker. Okay. That's the cooker. That's usually yeah. its spot, so you could, you're welcome to wipe around it. Or yes. Sometimes I'll pick up stuff and wipe under them to prevent yeah. dust and that. And I, but I mean, now it's fine. I, I find now that. Um, Usually, when, when I'm sighted, I would I would wipe in a general sort of circular motion. Okay, the yes. But now, I've, I've, I realize that I won't be able to see where I've wiped and what I haven't wiped. So okay. I'm working my way 
up and down. Up and come, down. Okay. From the That's right a very left. interesting observation because I, I usually do circulars. Yes. But I overlap, overlap, and make sure. It's, everybody's got a different method. It's like yes. when I'm sweeping. I, uh -huh. I don't sweep strips. I overlap, 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 and make sure. Okay. Even when I'm mowing the lawn with the push mower, I have that yes. same concept. So it might take a bit longer, but then you know it's more thorough. It sounds like you're doing a pretty I'm, thorough... I'm just, I'm just feeling there's, a, there's another rough spot. Um, and it's just part of the country. There is actually a, quite a rough spot on there, and it's obviously from something the previous people probably might have done to the counter or missed because I know of a few rough spots okay, I'm just getting a feel for alright I think that's about it now I'll rinse the cloth again okay see if you can fold the cloth up again into yes. like that would be interesting because I deal with folding up linen and t-shirts quite a lot uh -huh. And like, like, and it's quite interesting if you're not used to doing it blindfolded. It would be quite interesting yes. to feel or see how you cut. Rinse it out, squeeze it nicely. Yes. And then try and fold it in. I fold it into like a quarter, if you know what I mean. And then I fold the quarter over that center piece of the um, two zincs. Yes. Um, I feel I want to determine which is the long side and which is short, short that side. That might be a very square one. It, it feels square. Yeah, so you, it's up to you what yeah. you want to call the, the, the length and the breadth. Okay, so I'm putting, I'm putting the corners together. That's a good way. And then sliding my hand along and snagging my finger in the fold. Yes, that's good. And then, uh, okay. You can find, find the opposite corners. Yes, that's what I usually do. And do the similar thing, put all the corners together. Yeah. And then just make sure that, <clears throat> sorry, um, sl sliding finger along again and ca catching it in the fold. Yeah. And now it's folded into quarters. That's cool. And it goes over the, the center. center. That the sounds center. perfect. Excellent. And it feels very clean, I must say. Thank you very much. And um, I'm going to do my inspection. Yes, please. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I can't see any. No, I'm joking. It feels very clean, I must okay. say. It feels very clean. That's a bit off the center. Uh, well done. Excellent. That is excellent. I'm just, oh, well done. Glad. This is a great opportunity and a great experience. And next time, sometime in the future, we'll do uh, frying eggs. Yeah, if you're into that, I can organize.